Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Noon Prison Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thanks for clicking and watching. Today we're gonna to be doing a memory plan with me for the week of May 25th. And this week I did use a kit by Cozy Paper Co, the Moonchild kit. I will have this plan with me a link down below as well as a pop-up in the card so you can uh, watch it if you wanna see how I pre-planned and you know already set up this week. Um, but for my memory plan with me is I just go in and day by day, I will fill in um, with the things that happened in the blank spaces that are left in the planner so that I can kind of have a little memory keeping as well. So starting with Monday, May 25th, um, it was Memorial Day. And so I did um, have to take a trip to Sprouts. So I'm just using a little thing from the kit and just writing in that we went to Sprouts because we wanted to get some hot dogs for dinner. Um, but my husband and I don't eat meat, so we have to get the vegan hot dogs. And we couldn't find any at our usual grocery store for some reason. I, I know they sell them because I've gotten them before, but I just like couldn't find them. Um, then I also had an Amazon package delivered. So I took an appointment label from the kit as well as a circular like box icon from the kit. Um, just to write in that I got some um, wash rags from Amazon. Just like the microfiber kind for like cleaning the house. Uh, then I'm going to take a cat butt from Cozy Paper Co. from an older $1 Wednesday, and that is because I did empty the litter box on Monday, uh, which is something I don't normally do. Usually my husband empties it because I do the monthly like deep clean, but I just decided to empty it that day. Um, on Monday, I did write that I was gra uh, grateful for my gratitude list, grateful for the brave because it was Memorial Day, and I just wanted to make sure that, you know, we talk about and remember the people who gave the ultimate sacrifice um, for our freedoms. Then on Tuesday, I needed to mark that I was going to be taping up my son's room for his like painting project, and that sticker is pretty crooked now that I'm looking at it, but just ignore it. That was a box that I got from Planning World from, actually, it was a, um, a freebie, like a collab with the Rose and Tea Shop is what it was, so... Then I'm taking a scalloped corner from Cozy Paper Co. as well as a cell phone or like phone icon from Cozy Paper Co. Those are both older $1 Wednesdays. And that um, phone icon is this really neat like shifting foil uh, just to mark that I needed to call our insurance company or my husband needed to call. Um, my gratitude for Tuesday was having insurance since uh, we are both unemployed and we haven't had insurance since February, since, you know, the virus kind of kicked off and um, it's been like frustrating and um, hard to manage but finally we did we were able to purchase health insurance through the marketplace so that's good on Wednesday I used another scallop and another phone because I needed to call my supervisor over at my part-time job and then I'm taking a um, holographic bow like third box I don't remember quite who this is from I feel like I want to say um, Wildsmer Designs maybe but sorry I don't totally remember and I'm just taking like a little um, a spray bottle icon from Simply Watercolor Co. to mark that I was just kind of cleaning around the house that day. And then I used a Simply Gilded Juniper Bunny with the glasses just to mark that I needed to put away some of our Easter and spring decor since it is heating up and it's going to be June and summer and everything. So I wanted to put away the spring stuff. I do regret that that was a gold foiled sticker, but I didn't have any silver or silver hollow bunnies, and I really wanted a bunny for Easter stuff, so. Um, and then on Wednesday, my gratitude, I just wrote that I was grateful for. I just put my body, just because I'm happy that I'm able-bodied, so I wanted, you know, just express gratitude for that on that day. On Thursday, I used a, another appointment label from the kit, as well as a circular asterisk icon to mark that we had to go to Home Depot, um, since we are still during this week working on painting my son's room, we have finished it now, but this week was like the final week of painting his room. Um, then I'm going to take a flag <clears throat> from Cozy Paper Co. with these holographic hearts kind of scattered on them. And then a triple arrow from my new stiction in the Shattered Hollow, just to mark that I was editing my May haul on Thursday. So I spent a lot of time editing that because the video is almost an hour long. Um, so that was what I did for Thursday. Um, the gratitude that I wanted to write in for was for small businesses, since we did end up getting takeout instead of the fish sticks that you see there, um, at one of our favorite vegan Mexican restaurants. And, um, I was just like happy in general to have these small businesses 
still up and running. I know that a lot of them are struggling and I'm just happy that we can help in a little way, you know. Um, for Friday, there was really no room to do anything, but I did want to put that I did go and pick up my loaner laptop for my part-time job. Um, so I just used an appointment label and then the circular uh, laptop icon from the kit. And it was already layered like that because I think when I did my plan with me, I was going to put that in somewhere, but I changed my mind. So since I already had it, it was perfect. And then I did put that I was grateful for my safety on Friday. Um, on Saturday... I used a glitter a half box and another cap up from Cozy Paper Co. Um, to mark that I had deep cleaned the litter box on Saturday. And then I also used a transparent circular icon from The Giving Room in this pretty purple color. She sells these. Some are foiled and some are not. And this one just happened to not be foiled. So I layered it with a um, heart uh, icon from the kit just like a circular heart icon because I don't know I just love to layer those little transparent dots they work like so well for layering and I love them so much I love all these transparent stickers that the shops are coming out with <laughs> and then for gratitude for Saturday I wrote Cheddar Bay because we did have some Cheddar Bay biscuits with our salmon um, on Saturday and it's so good I love Cheddar Bay biscuits so much uh, well, you can get the like big red lobster Cheddar Bay biscuit mix um from I think like Costco or Sam's, it's a huge box, and we actually add more Old Bay seasoning in the biscuit mix, mix um, the dough, and it makes it even better. So then anyway, on to Sunday, first I added a pretty um, bow divider from my newest addiction, uh, a sampler I got in this pretty pink hollow, and then I used, it looks like a little thing, but it's actually that build you icon from Friday. I had chopped it to make it smaller, and I wanted to just use that lower half of it because it kind of looks like a little thing, so I thought that was pretty innovative. And I used a like dollar stack from an older Cozy Paper Co. Dollar Wednesday just to write in. I needed to update our budget on Sunday. To, I covered it like that little heart where you normally check where you paid the bill. So that was perfect. Um, then I'm taking a flag from the kit. And then I have these really pretty holographic um, like flag overlays that they don't quite perfectly match. But they were really, really close. So I was like, whatever. I was going to trim the flag so it would match. But it was so close. I was like, whatever. Um, and then those holographic flag overlays were from a Simply Watercolor Co. sampler. And then I used a Fox and Pip Sit and Relax Girl just to mark that I had some tea and, you know, read one of my books. I read on, like, my Kindle app or the Libby app. And um, I love to read the, um, like, fantasy kind of books and or, like, thriller or um, just, you know, like, fiction stuff. <laughs> and then for my Sunday gratitude, I wrote that I was, I updated my, my checklist, my to-do list, and then I wrote that I was grateful for routines. Um, since I think that routines are important to, you know, keeping, keeping, I don't know, just like my sanity and keeping like me on track and accountable. So then I'm just going to take this, um, this sampler from Artbox stickers and, um, well, first I'm taking the Minus Addiction one where those, that bow divider was with the pink hollow because I wanted to use all those pretty little bows. So there was some like side bows that I used on Memorial Day and on the Easter, like the Juniper Bunny. And then there was just like a few that were just like bows that I put over the full box and over the moon, sorry, the quilt box and over the moon. And then I had this one from Art Box Stickers, which is kind of planner themed and it's really a really pretty purple hollow. And I didn't know quite what to use all of that for. I tried to use as much of it as I could in my actual planner with like the bow clip and the stickers and the planner and such. But I really wanted to use these little pens because they're so cute. I just thought they would kind of be like little mini dividers underneath edit haul and underneath upload plan with me. And I love those. I'm going to check her shop and see if she has more in like different foil colors because they're like, I love the way that looks. Um, and then I just used the weekend banner from the kit to put down at the bottom there. And here is everything all filled out all of my memory spread done for the week. I love doing this because then I can look back on it once I'm done with this planner and just flip through and look at all the memories, you know? Anyway, here's a close-up of everything after the pen. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss more of my videos in the future. I hope that you take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!